works. Does everything. Cuts it, cleans it, does everything. He's got his combs and the blue juice. <laughs> if you get any furniture, the wallpaper makes the house. a good laugh is almost as rare as a blue moon. With an innate talent and a naturally born storyteller, Sebastian Maniscalco was described as having his own kind of panache. Beginning from a small audience at a dinner table, the comedian took every opportunity to expose his talent and earn whatever there is to earn. As we dive into the hardships and successes of the comedian Sebastian Maniscalco, let's see how his perseverance brought him to the top as one of the most high paid comedians in the United States. Born in Chicago, the young Sebastian adorned his walls with four pencil-drawn portraits of Sylvester Stallone, Joe Pesci, Al Pacino, and Robert De Niro. Maniscalco's journey to stardom was a slow one, but his jokes were not attention-grabbing or controversial. It was by almost two decades of stand-up, but it wasn't just that simple. This period was sustained by many regular jobs and a seven-year gig waiting tables at the upscale Four Seasons Hotel in Beverly Hills. Talk about a workaholic. He'd go running to do a stand-up set at the comedy store during breaks and come back just in time to deliver food to one table and take the wine order of another. It was hectic and busy, but Maniscalco says he never said no to a gig. He said, whatever work would come my way, I'd say just book me. Let me go out there, whatever the gig is, whatever the pay is. What a very persistent attitude, but it sure led him to his millions today. While keeping that attitude and sort of mindset, Sebastian's mother questioned him until when is he willing to give himself? And his answer was, if I give myself a time limit, I'm setting myself up for failure. But eventually, it did cost him a lot of side jobs selling and washing dishes, and even going 8,000 bucks in debt. It's 2005 and Sebastian Maniscalco is serving up fancy vibes at the Four Seasons Hotel in Beverly Hills. Living the high life? Not quite. But hold on to your hats because a plot twist is coming. Sebastian decided he'd had enough of the odd jobs. It was time to take a break from the routine he's had and take a leap of faith. He decided to hit the road and join the Wild West comedy show for 30 days and 30 nights in Hollywood to the heartland. Originally planning to return to the Four Seasons, fate had other plans for Sebastian. Opportunities knocked and he found himself in the center stage as an opening act. The pay wasn't exactly rolling in the big bucks, but it was enough to keep the dream alive. Sebastian's slow and steady climb in the comedy world paid off big time. It was hello to life on the comedy circuit. Fans were thirsty for more, and soon enough, the fame and fortune was knocking on his door. In 2009, he dropped his first DVD, Sebastian Live, marking the beginning of his stand-up specials. Netflix then took notice, grabbing each special for syndication. The legendary Jerry Seinfeld himself, one of his notable fans, gives props to Sebastian for his killer humor. Being on Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee was a career peak for Sebastian, and it was like the golden ticket for him. Selling out Madison Square Garden, Barclays Center, UBS Arena, Prudential Center, you name it. United Center in Chicago, yeah. He's the top selling and top grossing comedian in its three decade history. Talk about conquering the comedy scene. His comedy journey kicked off at the comedy store in West Hollywood. The dude's been everywhere though. The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, you name it. He's got sold out tours too, like What's Wrong With People in 2012, Why Would You Do That in 2016, and even more. Not to mention he's dipped his toes into acting. You might have seen Sebastian in Green Book, The Irishman, and a few others. And it turns out behind every funny guy like Sebastian is an even more fantastic woman. Sebastian and Lana Gomez are like a power couple. They first crossed paths at the gym. Sparks flew, they fell in love, and in 2013, they tied the knot. And fast forward to today, and they've got two adorable kids, Serafina and Caruso. Lana, the queen behind the scenes, wants the world to know something. If you remember that scene in About My Father where Sebastian's character loses his swim trunks while riding a hoverboard, well, it turns out that wasn't Sebastian's behind on display. It was a stunt double. Lana spilled the beans in 2023 saying, just let everybody know that's not your, well, there you have it. 
On his ride to success and supporting his wife's being an art enthusiast, let's get to know the power couple through the interior of their humble abode. It's redesign o'clock and they decided to cover the house in some wall magic. No mix and match confusion here. To really see what's what, the couple uses this cool three-dimensional model. It's like Sims, but in real life. And it's like they're playing 3D chess with interior design. They put the spotlight on the wallpaper, making it the main character. It's not just a pretty backdrop, it's setting the vibe for the whole house. The end game? They created a space that's fancy, but not too uptight. A house that screams sophistication, but whispers comfort. It's all about reflecting Lana and Sebastian's love for color, art, and being one of a kind. The couple purchased their Los Angeles home in 2014 for $2.8 million and proceeded to totally renovate the space and the listing details lean into the bold look. The couple threw their jaw-dropping, boldly decorated home on the market for $4.5 million. Fast forward and it's back with a bit more subtle charm and a slight price trim to $4 million. But this place is still screaming bold and beautiful. Who's the wizard behind the design? None other than Kelly Wurstler, the queen of adventurous colors, designs, and textures. No expense was spared and the listing is flaunting that. Picture this, a dramatic foyer greeting you with high ceilings, natural lighting, custom wallpaper, showing a different shade for each room. Teal living room, orange dining room, and orb-like custom light fixtures to tie it all together. Oh, and don't forget Lana's artwork sprinkled throughout the 4,000 square foot blender. The black and white kitchen is a feast for the eyes with professional appliances, a marble stone oversized island, custom cabinets, and a wine fridge. Warming goals, anyone? Upstairs, the master bedroom boasts a vaulted ceiling, artsy light fixtures, a private balcony, and the one but two customized closets. The on-swing bathroom is basically a spa day waiting to happen, complete with a soaking tub and steam shower. But why part ways with this masterpiece while well, they didn't exactly break up with it? The couple leveled up and moved into Gwen Stefani's insane former crib for a cool $21 million last year. Turns out the dizzying decor in Gwen's place is also courtesy of Kelly Wurstler, the same designer. Think maximalist black and white vibes in a 15,000 square foot home with a tennis court, infinity pool, guest house, and gym. Talk about an upgrade. From her artsy lifestyle and his comedic perspective, Lana and Sebastian Maniscalco's character put into the design of their house and it truly describes them. That's going to wrap up today's house tour and video, but before you go, answer this question. For How would you decorate your own home and describe your character? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all next time. Bye!